Good evening and welcome to your Wednesday Scarlet Scoop. Today we will be discussing last night's presidential election results and take a look into the speeches given by Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, and President Obama after the results were final. Stay with us. Donald Trump will become the 45th president of the United States after a historic victory over Hillary Clinton. Trump won with 289 electoral votes compared to 218 for Clinton. In order to come out victorious, Trump needed to win over several swing states, and he did just that, winning Florida, Michigan, Ohio, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania. Although here in Franklin County specifically, Trump fell short to Clinton by only receiving 34.67% of the vote. As of early this morning, it looks like Clinton could win the popular vote, meaning she could receive more total votes overall. However, even if she does, she would still lose the election due to the Electoral College. If Clinton pulls through, she would become the first presidential candidate since Al Gore in 2000 to win the popular vote but lose the election. Additionally, Republicans are set to control the House of Representatives as well as the Senate. At about 2.50 a.m. Eastern Time, Trump delivered his victory speech at Trump headquarters in New York City. He began by saying he received a congratulatory call from Clinton and stated it is time for the nation to come together. I've just received a call from Secretary Clinton. She congratulated us, it's about us, on our victory. And I congratulated her and her family on a very, very hard-fought campaign. I mean, she, she fought very hard. And we owe her a major debt of gratitude for her service to our country. I mean that very sincerely. Now it's time for America to bind the wounds of division. We have to get together. To all Republicans and Democrats and independents across this nation, I say it is time for us to come together as one united people. Clinton publicly conceded the election to Trump earlier this morning in New York City. In her speech, she touched on accepting the election results and looking to the future. But I still believe in America, and I always will. And if you do, then we must accept this result and then look to the future. Donald Trump is going to be our president. We owe him an open mind and the chance to lead. Our constitutional democracy enshrines the peaceful transfer of power. And we don't just respect that, we cherish it. It also enshrines other things, the rule of law, the principle that we are all equal in rights and dignity, freedom of worship and expression. We respect and cherish these values too. President Obama addressed the public on Trump's win earlier this morning, stating that he has extended an invitation to Trump to meet with him at the White House on Thursday. He also touched on the transition process. I had a chance to talk to President-elect Trump last night, uh, about 3.30 in the morning, I think it was to congratulate him on winning the election, and I had a chance to invite him to come to the White House tomorrow to talk about making sure that there is a successful transition between our presidencies. Now, it is no secret that the President-elect and I have some pretty significant differences. But remember, eight years ago, President Bush and I had some pretty significant differences. But President Bush's team could not have been more professional or more gracious in making sure we had a smooth transition so that we could hit the ground running. And one thing you realize quickly in this job is that the presidency and the vice presidency uh, is bigger than any of us. So I have instructed my team to follow the example that President Bush's team set eight years ago and work as hard as we can to make sure that this is a sex successful transition for the president-elect. Wrapping up this election recap, Republican Senator Rob Portman won re-election in the U.S. Senate race in Ohio. He received 58.3% of the vote over Democrat opponent Ted Strickland, who received 36.9% of the vote. 
That's it for today on Scarlet Scoop. For more political coverage, be sure to visit thelantern.com, but also be sure to tune into Scarlet Scoops throughout the week for more campus news. Also, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Take care and thanks for watching.